All right, guys, so we got a beautiful day here. It's test day. I made some changes to the carburetor. We're gonna do some tests, take you guys for a ride. But before we do some tests, I gotta clean this baby up. Put some new tires on and they're kind of dirty, so clean that up and it's been sitting in the shop. It's got all kinds of crumb on it, so we'll get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna go for a ride, take her for a rip, see how she does. All right, this is some of the stuff I'm using. In here is a um, heavy duty aluminum brightener, they call it. It's basically like an acid. Um, it doesn't shine or polish the aluminum. If anything, it turns it a whitish color. Um, tire cleaner and then some degreaser. Uh, the truck has been sitting for a while in the shop, so she's pretty dirty under the hood, pretty dirty everywhere. I'll show you what it does to the uh, cylinder heads in the intake once I get underneath the hood. Um, like I said, that acid stuff works really good to clean it and make it look nice and it gives it a clean look. So I just wet it down underneath the hood here so you might not be able to see it as well. By the intake there, right next to that first intake bolt. It's pretty dirty. Um, underneath the carburetor linkage up over there, oh you can see the spot. Right there, she's pretty dirty. So um, when I get done, it'll look like the front of the cylinder head. The whole thing, everything that's aluminum will. So, So here it is. Look at how much better that looks. You can already tell it looks way better. It also works really well on stainless steel, like these headers are stainless steel. Oh, it makes them look so much better. Um, now I'll get you the actual name of this stuff, but you do have to mix it with water. Now, depending on how fast you're working and how large of an area you're working on, if you want it to work really quick, you can mix it pretty strong. But the only thing is, is if you let it dry, it does like the saltinator has, or it's got kind of that streaking. So if you get it just right, it, it's just enough time for you to spray your motor off or whatever and clean it. But I highly suggest that once you get your motor, you know, uh, fairly clean, if it has that top layer of grime on it, spray this acid stuff on there and then use a pressure washer and holy man, it works really good on all types of aluminum. So that's, that's my uh, quick tip, I guess, if you want to call it that. And to spray it, we just use the weed killer a pump weed killer um, bottle and uh, you dilute it with water and whatever and it works amazing it just it just makes it look so much better so much cleaner um, I know bare aluminum is so hard to keep clean and uh, <laughs> it's some pretty good stuff you all right here is the acid I was talking about or aluminum brightener whatever you want to call it. it's called evolution a lot of other companies make it but this stuff, this evolution stuff, is the best one we found. Take and put it in a weed killer spray bottle, one of the pump ones, and that's the best way we found to use it. Then you can mix your water like you need to mix it. It makes it really easy, but this is the stuff right here. If you want some nice aluminum cleaner, it works really good on, on paint too, especially stuff that's kind of greasy, grimy, but it's not real thick where you need an engine degreaser or anything like that. It works really good to bring bring the shine back. Uh, for example, we used it on a four-wheeler one time. The frame was kind of iffy looking. Boy, did it bring it back. But anyway, there it is. Evolution is the name of that stuff. Really great stuff. All right, got the truck fired up. Let them warm up a little bit. Air fuel is reading good. Everything's good to go. So um, I'm full of gas. I'm gonna go up to the spot that we're gonna test. Uh, I'm gonna drive out there, then I'll talk a little bit about the issues I was having with the truck, and uh, I'll
I'll show you some different camera angles so you can, you know, see if the truck made a difference or not. I'll tell you about the changes I made once I get out there. So I'm going to head to the spot. All right, I hope this isn't too loud for you guys. Um, your fuel ratios are doing good. We're cruising right now at about 55 miles an hour. I know the speedo says 85. It's quite a bit off. Um, so in this truck with 373s and 27 inch tires, I'm doing about 2,500 hours. Um, air fuel ratio is good, oil pressure is good, temp is good. So once I get to the spot, I'll uh, do some explaining and then we'll get to testing this thing. So far it feels really good. All right, so the issues I was having, I would be going about a quarter throttle, getting up to speed and I would punch it to about half throttle and it would go wah and bog way down and my air fuel ratio gauge would go lean. It would spit and sputter. So the changes I made, hoping to get away with that from some stuff I read online, I changed the metering rod springs from Edelbrock's orange springs to their stiffest spring, which is their silver one. And then I uh, messed with the secondary flap, the vacuum flap, that didn't make a difference. Um, my idle air mixture screws, I, I tuned in my idle air mixture screws. So. pretty good before it would get kind of boggy when you floor it like that so um, I'm gonna take off here about a quarter throttle get up to like 35 miles an hour then I'll put it to about half throttle I'll keep the camera on the air fuel ratio gauge and, and we'll see what we'll see what happens
good. It ran great. Uh, as you guys can see from the video, I was pretty pretty excited. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like. If you want to see more content like this, comment down below. Suggestions. Thanks for watching.